Hey guys, so I just watched uh, Hamza's video on estrogenics. It's a pretty good introduction to the field of estrogenics, but some things he missed out or some things which I think could be explained better. For one thing, he speaks about the sauna and how the sauna is a great place to detox. That's true, but it's not, it's not complete. So when you're in the sauna, you're going to sweat out a lot of your estrogenic load from your fat cells. But you need to use a towel and wipe yourself off constantly while you're in the sauna. And you need to wipe yourself off completely before you leave the sauna. Because those estrogenics are still going to be in your sweat. So if you leave the sauna and your sweat dries on you, those estro estrogenics will just seep back into your skin. You don't get the full benefit. So you need to have a towel when you go into the sauna. Second thing, water. You need to have a metal water bottle with you in the sauna and drink water constantly because your estrogenics will leave your body not only through the sweat but also through the urine so drink a lot of water because your cells are going to be agitated by the heat and that's going to release the estrogens into your well into your blood and you know whatever else fluids in your body but you can only get them out of your body when you urinate or sweat so make sure you're drinking a lot of water third thing and actually a caution about the sauna the heat in the sauna will actually kind of fry your balls like you'll your sperm will sometimes get damaged if you spend too long in the sauna, which is fine for most people. But if you're trying to have a kid in the next 90 days, you shouldn't be using the sauna. Or if you are, then you should always have a bottle of like cold water and you just pour cold water on your balls and keep them cold because heat does destroy sperm. That's one thing. Another thing he mentioned was uh, omega-3s. So oftentimes we'll get our omega-3s through cod liver oil or fish oil, which is fine, but the oceans and rivers of the earth are polluted with estrogens and other things like, which are not even estrogenic, which are like heavy metals and arsenic and whatnot. So when you're consuming cod liver oil or any other fish oil or any fish product for that matter, you need to make sure it's from a clean source. That means you cannot buy the standard omega-3 you know, fish oil supplements off the counter in your CVS, those probably will do more harm than good. Because even though they contain the omega-3s, they also contain estrogenics. So you need to do your research. Again, man, it's, it's, it's all a matter of awareness and understanding where your food supply is coming from. It's not simple. And that's why this channel exists.